If you've been following me on Facebook, you've seen this model before. It's my CAT 615 scraper that I brought back, I guess from the dead or whatever you want to call it. It's in really rough shape when I bought it, but I got a deal on it. And these are uh, getting to be a somewhat rare NZG model. But it's a really nicely made model in my opinion, and I really like them. So, show you what, show you around the model, what I did and whatnot to get it back to its uh, more presentable condition. Of course, it's got new paint and decals. All the decals I printed using my decal printing system. On the front here, we drilled out a couple holes for the two new headlights. The cab has new window glass and then painted the window frames black. It's also got clear cab glass instead of that. It was a really dark blue green color. You could, couldn't even see inside of that cab beforehand. It still has the original wheels and tires. I don't know if I'm going to update those or not. I haven't found a good replacement yet for them, so these look fine for now. Got the steering mechanism up front. Of course, at the back here, you kind of get a basic detailed transmission and whatnot. Um, I didn't really want to high detail this model just because I thought it looked okay as is. Um, some people might argue with me, but that's just how I see it. This is my favorite paint scheme um, of all the pack of, well, maybe not my favorite, but it's pretty close of uh, the oldest Pac-Man logo with the yellow pinstripe and the block letter cat logo there. It looks pretty cool. Back of the model is pretty simple. And one of the best things about this model is it's probably one of the best functioning elevating scraper models out there. It's way better than the Norscott 623 or 613Gs. So the bowl can go up down to about there. It can, it'll pick the tires up off the ground there. Now the cylinders aren't stiff enough, but it's pretty close. Then the elevator turns here. I had to build a new mechanism to do this, but it works. We can unload and then we can load. It works pretty well, really. Considering it's just a rubber band, you know. And then the bowl can lift up. We don't have any snags there. Lift up nice and high, and then the scraper can roll around. And then once we want to unload, one of the coolest features, only elevating scraper I know that does it, the floor opens, and then the ejector works. I mean, this is way better than any of the Norscots by that by those standards then you can close that floor back up and put your ejector back so anyway if you're looking for a elevating scraper model for you know your smaller you know sub, sub uh, subdivision builds or whatnot uh, NZG's made several versions of this um, from the original Pac-Man logo to this Pac-Man logo to the um, pyramid logo and then also they made a 615 C with the red pinstripe so you can take your pick there they're getting hard to find and they're getting really expensive so you gotta look shop around while to get a good deal so always guys thanks for watching